all that foo -foo, and nothing happened to me. It, it was like that today, in the morning and in the afternoon, on Thursday, on Friday, up to now, nothing has happened. And I only go to urinate once in, at night, but most of the time I haven't urinated in the night since I, I came in here. So I stand here to say, may all glories, adoration, all bowing of us, hallelujah, be unto the Lord in Jesus' name. Put Amen. your hand together for Jesus. Amen. The Lord who did it for her will do it for you. In fact, has done it for you. I can hear your amen. He has done it for you. As you describe your miracle, please join them in hall. Many people are still coming out. Let's take the next person, please. Praise the Lord. I am Ochulo Jane from campus in Kano region, Enugu State. I want to testify to the glory of the Lord. Since 2019, after I gave birth to my second baby, because I gave birth to that baby through CS, I noticed there is an object moving towards my navel, and it has been like that. So after the delivery, when I noticed that, I asked my husband, because I didn't want it to be that I'm the one feeling it. I told him to place his hand, and he noticed it that something was moving in my tummy. I said, is it possible that through operation, if it was twin babies now, they would bring out the twin babies if it was operation. I said, no, it's not possible. We, after we noticed it, less than a month, I went back to the clinic. I told the doctor that I'm noticing something moving in my tummy towards the navel. That I don't know what the thing is. He said, maybe the womb is setting. I didn't believe him because the first baby was CS and I didn't experience that. The second baby, though, different doctors. The second baby and I'm experiencing that. So I didn't believe him completely. I said, okay, let's wait. Since he said the womb is setting, let's still wait now. The womb will set. So after months, the object keep moving. So I now went for scan. When I went for scan, the woman said, since the, the person that did the scan said, since it's CS, that she will not put the radiation too much because of my condition. That she will allow it after a while, I should come. I should just go and pray for my healing process. So I believed God and we're praying about it. After that period, a year plus, the thing was still moving. I decided to check somewhere else. That's another doctor, not that clinic. When I went, the doctor checked it. She said, that is like it's a hole. Maybe the, the second CS, they didn't cover the, the suture, they didn't sew up everything. That the solution will not be in the next pregnancy. That when I take in the next pregnancy, when they are doing the operation, that I should tell the surgeon to cover it up. That was last, early this month that I went for that one. And I believe God that as Jesus is coming, that in fact, I and my husband, when we're praying, I made a prayer request that I don't want to be a spectator rather I want to be a recipient of the miracle of God and yesterday because all through this why each time we come I used to sit outside because of the children but yesterday after the rain we decided because most persons had left so we decided to come in as I entered I was sitting somewhere in front there and I was listening to testimonies after the testimonies we left Within me, I remember what the pastor said. He said, still keep on checking. You may not know you have received the miracle. So as I got home, I started checking. I was the one searching for the thing that has been moving around my tummy, and I didn't see it. I said, see now, even when I woke up earlier, I didn't see it. I said, searching, I didn't see it. I said, God, who has done this, may his name alone be praised in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. He said, miracle. Walking God is a miracle.
the next testifier, please. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! My name is Amu Violet Nkeji. I am from Ebe, you know the local government area, Enugu State. I came here to testify the goodness of God in my life. What he, what he done for me yesterday evening. My left side, there, lower abdomen, was paining me severely. I couldn't walk. The thing is hooking me. I can't walk. Very painful and hot. So, yesterday, when, well, when the prayer was going on, I was here. As I'm touching it now, the pain is gone. I, can, I see the pain is gone. It's no more. The pain is gone. Praise the Lord. Put your hands may together now. May the permanent be, may the healing be permanent in Jesus' name. Are you not happy for the miracle? Amen. The next testifier before we go to online. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Sister Florence Anya Chuku from Udi region. I am very happy because I asked the Lord to heal me when I'm coming and the Lord did it to me. Praise the Lord. I have a growth under my leg. I'm not working well. The pain was so severe. Sometimes I will not sleep because of it. So walk, I can't be able to walk. But I cry to God before coming. I say, God, I want you to visit me. As I reach here on Thursday, when our Father in the Lord was praying, I say, God, see me through Lord, so that I will be able to walk like others. Praise the Lord. Instantaneous that Thursday, the Lord hid me from the growth under my leg. Praise the Lord. Also on Friday, it was on July, I was getting stomach problem. I went to the hospital. They say it's gastric ulcer. And from that uh, February, I've been purging. If I take anything, I will just go and stool it away immediately. So this thing has been disturbing me from that January. I've been purging from Feb uh, uh, July till on Saturday. I prayed, as our father said, lay hand where that thing is disturbing you. I just hold my tummy. I say, God, heal me. Heal me. Instantaneously, the purging and everything, I didn't see it again. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. He has a swollen under the feet that was healed on Thursday. Purging that started since July was taken away on Friday till now. God has healed her permanently. We now go to online to take some testimony before we come back here. Great miracles happening online. We begin at Lome. Togo, where something great has just happened. From Lome, Togo, we have this testimony of a sister who has had this problem for eight years. She couldn't walk, but after the prayer of the man of God, she jumped up. And we are going to watch the testimony live now. We now go to Togo, Lome, live.
while we try to take it live shortly let's bring you the full story that woman you saw there in togo that woman you saw there in togo you can see her picture she had been on crutches and you can also see the crutches she had been on crutches since 2013 and then after the prayer of the man of god she connected at home with the divine touch and after that as the divine touch came upon her she jumped up dropped her crutches and she began to walk you can see those are the crutches being held up and um, she's standing on her own unaided the Lord has done it. We'll show you the place where she's walking when it happened instantaneously. You'll find her now. She started walking and she even started running. Take a look at this. See her there now. See her there. See her there. Just as she spoke. Donc j'ai pris une moto pour y aller, j'ai fait un accident. Et finalement, ça s'est compliqué. Je n'arrivais plus à m'asseoir. Pour m'asseoir, c'était un problème. Donc, on, je devais mettre une ceinture d'abord. À part ça, j'avais toujours la position couchée. Et ça s'est aggravé jusqu'au point où j'avais les cannes. Donc, sans cannes, je ne peux pas marcher. Je ne peux même pas me déplacer dans ma propre maison. Mais je rentre droit. You can, see her. you can see her walking. She has not walked since 2013. Look at the power of God. After the prayer of the man of God, she began to walk. We'll take you to other th testimonies online as we now take you live to some other locations. And just as we prepare to take you live, let's take you to Italy, where Ginica from Italy had an inflammation under her stomach for over a year now. And she says... It looked like a thick, a thick swelling mask. And when you touch, you feel something strong. In fact, it was so tough to the point that it, 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 it developed into continuous urination for her. And then, as the man of God prayed, and that final amen came, she said, the GS mentioned her case while the prayer was on. And at the, upon the final amen, she noticed the mask had gone. She pressed under her tummy, and it is no longer there. Praise the Lord. And now, while we are still we waiting for more testimonies coming live, we will take this one that was sent in from MCC. An unprecedented miracle took place. A sister who has had both spinal cord injury and broken hip, which was caused by a very fatal accident and claimed several lives in the year 2015. And since then, she has been on crutches. But after the prayer of the man of God, something about the final amen, something about the final amen, she jumped up, she dropped her crutches, she stood up, and she can now walk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now we go live to Edo State, South South Nigeria, West Africa. Edo State, live. My name is Ibuku Okoswada from Campus in Benin City, Edo State. Yesterday, I, I, I've been going through some severe pain in my left leg, and it's been severe for over years, over a year now. 
and it comes and go on. The pain has been so constant that I could not bear it yesterday. Then as the GS was praying, I connected with what he was saying and instantly the pain vanished. Praise the Lord. And next we go to Calabar, still in South South Nigeria. Calabar live. Uh, where the train of this crusade moved to Enugu. Tonight we have three testifiers. I present them right now to you. Happy listening. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Israel. I'm worshiping at, I'm worshiping at um, the Kodom district. I want to thank God for what God has done for me yesterday night. I was having a serious pain on my leg, like boy. So after the prayer of the man of God yesterday, I received my own healing yesterday. And the pain was seriously, but after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Now I can walk, I can jump. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Naglory Udwak Isaiah from Castle District, Anantra Group, Calabar Region. I'm here to thank God for what the Lord did for me during the Signs and Wonders Crusade that was anchored here last month. I went to that crusade with a terrible ulcer. The pain was so severe on me, I was disturbed. And I told God it has come at the right time. Throughout that crusade, I was camping there. The pain was still insisting till even the last night. I told the sickness that I'm not leaving here with you to my house. And praise the Lord as I left that camp to my house to today, more than a month, I don't have that pain. May the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am Rosemary Harry from Enuma District, Ikot Oman. Calabar region. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life. The Lord God of heaven has wiped away the shame, the tears of pains, eight years pains from my body. I'm here to thank God. It was in the year 2013. I had a dream that I was bedridden. When I managed to get up from that bed, I saw myself using walking stick. After that, when I wake up, I did not take time to pray over the dream. And that is how, from that year, it began. I started having this severe pain. Pain that I could not walk even in my room. I was tempted to use walking stick, but when I remember the dream, I said, no, I will not use the walking stick. And it continued, I went to the hospital. They told me it's arthritis. Does arthritis move or walk or choke somebody all over my waist to my foot? And this is how it continues. With the, pain, the pains and much intakes of uh, uh, pain reliever, I had to, another problem developed, which was burning over my body like fire. And when, during the signs and wonders, I told God I must receive my healing. And the Lord saw me through, during the signs and wonders crusade, that when I came back, but through the ministration of the man of God, something happened in my life. The pains were not there. The fire that was burning all over my body was taken away till today. Praise the name of the Lord. And now we go to Adamawa for another life testimony. Adamawa, Northeast Nigeria. Coming up live. Go to Adamawa for another life testimony. Adamawa, not Coming up. We, while we wait for Adamawa to get set, let's give you some other testimonies coming from the social media, from Port Harcourt. South South Nigeria, Akidu Volusia Road, 
One of our pastors from the group called Rumi Go Old District was kidnapped after the program on Thursday on his way home. After listening to all the testimonies, the church prayed and believed God for his release during the program. It was one of the key prayers and to the glory of God on Saturday, he was released on earth. Divine touch released him. Praise the Lord. And now we have this coming also from social media. This is coming in from Okoyemi. Okoyemi says that over 15 years, she's been having pain in the lower right side of the tummy. It's been so severe. She's been going on and off medications. And two years ago, she visited a clinic. She was diagnosed to have appendicitis. It was operated upon, but when, it was, when she was opened up, it was discovered that it was not appendicitis. It was covered up. She went for a scan outside the clinic, and she was told that it was not appendicitis, but a pain she will have to continue to live with. This pain is always strong whenever she is menstruating. However, she never knew God had healed her during the signs and wonders crusade. Just a day to the commencement of divine touch, she started menstruating again, and lo and behold, the pain is gone completely. Lokoja might be over four hours away from Enugu, but divine touch stretched all the way to Lokoja. As we see in the writing, as sent to us, the testimonies are diverse. A brother was delivered from severe panic attacks. Another sister was delivered from urinary tract infection. All the, the issues of the infection dried up. Another was healed of peptic ulcer. All the symptoms cleared away. And finally, a sister whose father had been so sick to the point he was unable to walk, received a call and through the divine touch, bear the telephone, the miracle touched the man and he began to walk. Praise the Lord. Again, something about a final amen, the final amen. All the way, divine touch, traveling down to Scotland. This is coming in from William, all the way from Scotland. He says that as our Father and the Lord was ministering tonight, they all put their hands on the TV screen. And again, something about the final amen. After the final amen, the son who could not breathe in his second nose came running to mommy and says, Mommy, I can now breathe with my second nose. Praise the Lord. And just before we return to the state overseer, we'll take you to Saudi Arabia, where Theophilus Samite Titi said he had excruciating pain. He woke up with that pain. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, the pain instantaneously disappeared. Praise the Lord. We now return to the state overseer. Jesus. Amen. Divine touch. Even tonight, traveling to Scotland, Saudi Arabia, America, South, South, North, East, and to you too. I say the power has touched you in the name of Jesus. We take testimonies from here. There are so many. And if, as you are listening, and you are describing your own miracle, please join them in Hall 6. The next testifier from...